actually right now I am reorganizing my bookshelves and by the time that this video goes up I will have already posted my bookshelf reorganization video. I actually don't plan to post this part of it for a few more weeks but I thought since I'm taking all the books off my shelf and reorganizing and rearranging that I'm going ahead and do a bookshelf tour and show you guys every single book that's on my bookshelves since I'm pulling them off anyways. I already completely emptied out that second bookshelf that's over here and I have all my books laying on my desk but then I have not yet cleared this shelf so for this shelf as I pull the books off I'm going to show them to you guys but since I already emptied that other bookshelf I'm just going to pull them off my desk and show you guys the cover and tell you the title and author so that you guys can see all of the books that I currently own. You will notice that I do not own that many young adult books which is something that I'm really trying to work on and grow my collection of but I am going to show you all the books that I do own right now and mostly it's just going to be me telling you the title and the author so it's really going to be fast moving at least hopefully it'll be fast moving since there are quite a few books that I need to share with you guys so without any further ado let's jump in and get started. Entwined by Heather Dixon, Burning Glass by Katherine Purdy, Legend by Marie Lu, The Choosing by Rochelle Decker, Book of a Thousand Days by Shannon Hale, Princess Academy by Shannon Hale, and the Books of Bayern series all by Shannon Hale. Those include The Goose Girl, Anna Burning, River Secrets, and Forestborn. The Healing Wars Trilogy by Janice Hardy, and that trilogy includes The Shifter, Blue Fire, and Darkfall. Then I have Ruined by Amy Tintera, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabaha Tahir, the first two books in The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson, which are The Kiss of Deception and The Heart of Betrayal. Then I have the first three books in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard, and those include Red Queen, Glass Sword, and King's Cage. I then have Hero's Song by Edith Patel, Fire Arrow also by Edith Patel, and East by Edith Patel. Next is the Maze Runner trilogy by James Dashner, which includes The Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure, which is becoming a movie and releasing on January 26th, I believe, and I am super, super excited for this. By the time this video goes up, I might have already seen this and it might have already come out, but as of right now, it has not, and I'm super excited for it. Next is the Birthmark Trilogy by Kara M. O'Brien, which includes Birthmarked, Prized, and Promised. Next up, I have the Match Trilogy by Ali Condi, which includes Matched, Crossed, and finally Reached. Then I have the first two books in the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy by Ray Carson, and those are The Girl of Fire and Thorns, and the second book, The Crown of Embers. Ruby Red by Kirsten Geyer, or maybe Gear, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. Remnant Season of Wonder by Lisa T. Berggren. The Evaporation of Sophie Snow by Mary Weaver. Origin by Jessica Corey. An Arc of Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, Ever the Hunted by Aaron Summerill, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, both by J.K. Rowling, Adrian Skies by Ann Wheeler, Three Came Home by Agnes Newton Keith, A Lucky Child by Thomas Bergenthal, Nowhere's Child by Carrie Roswell, the first five books in the Red Wall series by Brian Jacques, is I believe how you pronounce his last name. And those include Mossflower, Red Wall, Matimio, or Matimio, however you pronounce this title, <laughs> Marielle of Red Wall, and finally Salomon Dastrin. Next we have Incarceron by Katherine Fisher. Then next we have the 100 Covers trilogy by M.D. Wilson, which includes 100 Covers. Dandelion Fire, and The Chestnut King, and these books are a 10 out of 10 recommendation for really good MG fantasy. I absolutely loved these books whenever I was younger. Alrighty, moving on, we have The Face on the Milk Carton by Caroline B. Cooney, Chinese Cinderella by Adeline Yen Ma, Farewell to Manzanar by Jean or Jeanne Wakatsuki Houston and James D. Houston, and Red Scarf Girl by G. Lee Jiang. The Last of the Really Great Wang Doodles by Julie Andrews Edwards. Each Little Bird That Sings by Deborah Wiles. The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle by Avi. Esperanza Rising by Pam Munoz Ryan. The Shakespeare Stealer by Gary Blackwood. The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo. My Side of the Mountain by Jean Craighead George. The Amaranth Enchantment by Julie Berry. Adam of the Road by Elizabeth Janet Gray. The Mirror of Fire and Dreaming, and I know that I'm going to mispronounce this name. I think it's... Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni, I believe. I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's an Indian name, but I love this book as a child. Another really good recommendation, and it has a beautiful cover. A Series of Unfortunate Events, The Slippery Slope by Lemony Snicket. And then I have a bunch of The Little House on the Prairie books, which are all by Laura Ingalls Wilder. 
Little House in the Big Woods, Little House on the Prairie, which was my absolute favorite book as a child, and you can tell it has been very well loved, Farmer Boy, the illustrated edition, On the Banks of Plum Creek, and finally, These Happy Golden Years, The Lighthouse Land by Adrienne McKinty, In Go by Helen Dunmore, the first, I believe, five books in the Narnia series by C.S. Lewis, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, Prince Caspian, and The Last Battle. The first two Wrinkle in Time books, which include A Wrinkle in Time and A Wind in the Door, both by Madeline Lango. This one has a really long title, so I'm going to read it off the cover, but this is Annie Henry Adventures in the American Revolution, the bind up of all four books by Susan Olasky. The Bronze Bow by Elizabeth George Spear. The Trojan War by Olivia Coolidge. The Door Within by Wayne Thomas Batson. Dream Treaders also by Wayne Thomas Batson. And World Unseen by Rachel Starr Thompson. A Border Passage by Leela Ahmed, Letters from Rivka by Karen Hess or Hees, Within Reach My Everest Story by Mark Fetzer and Jack Galvin, Antarctica Journey to the Pole by Peter Larangus, The Worst Hard Time by Timothy Egan, The Good Earth by Pearl S. Buck, Where the Broken Heart Still Beats, The Story of Cynthia Ann Parker by Caroline Meyer, When Heaven and Earth Change Places by Lee Lai Hayslip, and Taken, which is a bind-up of the first four of the Left Behind novels by Jerry B. Jenkins and Tim LaHaye. Alright, so that is all the books from that far bookshelf over here that I already emptied. Now I am going to start with all of the books that are coming off this bookshelf, and as I take them off one by one, I will show them to you guys and show the author like I did with these. This is from Katie by Katie Davis, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot, Three Cups of Tea by Greg Mortensen and David Oliver Rellin, Soul Surfer by Bethany Hamilton, A Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers, Night by Eli Wiesel, Life in the Shadow of the Swastika by Frida E. Rusvan Heeson, a absolutely wonderful book, which is The Narrow Door at Colditz by Robert L. Wise. The Longest Winter by Alex Kershaw. The Narrow Road, which is a bind up of The Bible Smuggler and a bunch of other stories. It's a collection of different martyrs and people who have been persecuted for their faith, and it goes in the sidebars of the pages. There are a bunch of little inserts of journal entries and different writings from people, and this is a really fantastic book. I highly recommend it. And it is by Brother Andrew with John and Elizabeth Sherrill featuring Jars of Clay. And we also have Surviving Hitler, A Boy in the Nazi Death Camps by Andrea Warren. The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom, Summer of My German Soldier by Betty Green, Parallel Journeys by Eleanor Ayer, Anne Frank and the Children of the Holocaust by Carol Ann Lee, Blessed is the Match by Marie Serkin, and finally from that upper top shelf is Escaping into the Night by D. Dinah Friedman. Alrighty, I also had my YA favorites shelf right here, so there are still a few young adult books that I'm going to share that are some of my favorite series, and then I will jump back into the middle grade and classics that were on the bottom three shelves. Alrighty, so first up we have the Defiance Trilogy by C.J. Redwine, which includes Defiance, Deception, and Deliverance. We then have the Sandcastle Empire by Kayla Olson, and the Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins, which includes The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Alrighty, and now let's dive back into the majority of my middle grade and classics. First we have The Giver, Messenger, Gathering Blue, and The Silent Boy, all by Lois Lowry. Then we have a very well-worn and well-loved copy of Inkspell by Cornelia Funk. My favorite book from whenever I was in elementary school, Emma and the Civil Warrior by Candy Dahl. And one day I will share with you guys the story behind how I got this book and what it means to me, but that is for another video for another day. But just know that this is a super sentimental book and it holds a very special place in my heart. And like I mentioned, I absolutely loved this book in elementary school. Yeah. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, The Great Illustrated Classic Edition by Kate Douglas Wiggin, The House of the Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne, The Children's Homer, The Swiss Family Robinson by Johann David Weiss, The Crucible by Arthur Miller, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, The Story of the Amulet by E. Nesbitt, Little Women, a retelling of the Louisa May Alcott original, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Withering Heights by Emily Bronte, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, The Jungle by Upton Sinclair, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, The Red Badge of Courage by Stephen or Stephen Crane. I then have quite a few books by Margaret Peterson Haddix, including the entire Shadow Children series, which includes Among the Hidden, Among the Imposters, My Favorite, Among the Betrayed, Among the Baron, Among the Brave, Among the Enemy, and finally Among the Free. I then also have the second through the fifth books in the Missing series, also by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I do not know where the first book found went. 
Um, I used to own it, but I can no longer find it, so I only have the second through the fifth books. And those include Scent, Sabotage, Torn, and Caught. And then finally, I also have The Always War, also by Margaret Peterson Haddix, Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain, Crispin at the Edge of the World by Avi, Midnight Magic by Avi, and this has an absolutely gorgeous illustrated cover. And also, just to point this out, it is also on the inside embossed on the hardcover. So this is a really gorgeous book. And one of the reasons I got it was because of the illustrations and this cover. All right, moving on, we have Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare, Poems to Read Aloud, a collection by James Barry, 101 Great American Poems by the American Poetry and Literacy Project, The Book of Enoch, a translation by R.H. Charles, a very large copy of The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandra or Alexander Dumas, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, and a second copy of A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Charles Dickens. Alrighty, then we also have the Tales from the Arabian Nights, this really gorgeous embossed edition, and I am not sure who the author of this is. I think it is a collection of multiple stories, I believe, so um, I am not sure who the author of this collection is, but this is the Tales of the Arabian Nights, Kim by Rudyard Kipling, Anderson's Fairy Tales, The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling, and the final book from my bookshelves is Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. I am not going to share all of the little trinkets that were on this middle shelf right here from my bookcase because I'm going to do a dedicated video for bookshelf trinkets and different little things and sharing the stories behind how I got some of those trinkets because I keep a lot of really sentimental things on my bookshelf, so there's a lot of stories behind why I keep certain things on my bookshelves and from where I got some of those trinkets. So I'm gonna do a video completely on my bookshelf trinkets at some later date in a few weeks or months. I'm not really sure when I'm going to be doing that. So for now, I'm just going to be sharing all of the books and I will do a close up for you guys of all of these books on the table and all of the books that I own. And then I will also put up here how many books there are total for my bookshelves. I have to count them whenever I put them back on. All right, everybody, that is all for today for my bookshelf tour. I hope that you enjoyed this. And that was a lot of books to go through. So if you made it to the end of the video, then you are very dedicated and patient. So thank you so much for that. This is quite a lot of books, but as you probably know, I am trying to purchase more books this year and read more books. And so I'm slowly collecting more. And by the time that this video goes up, I'll probably have bought more books although I'm trying to keep myself from buying any books in the next few months because I have bought some recently and I need to read those, but you guys know how it is with buying books even whenever you have a huge TBR. And actually, whenever I am about to reorganize my shelves right now, and I'm gonna have a dedicated TBR shelf so that hopefully it will help me if I look at that shelf, hopefully it will help me to be guilted into reading more books if I know that that entire shelf or two, I think it might take up two shelves, is completely TBR books. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And if you want to connect with me, all my social media links are down below in the description box. You can go check those out. And I hope that you all enjoyed this and I will catch y'all next time. Bye.